Hello guys, today we're working in this beautiful 2019. It's beautiful. I mean, it's gorgeous. 2019, it got some arrows on it, but the owner really, really takes care of it. So we're going to be doing a couple of things. And, but this guy just said, oh man, what's it? Seems I just kiss here. I wonder if we can do this and we can do that. So, hmm. This might end up being more than what I bargained for. We'll see what we install by the time this jet ski is done. And another thing, hmm, it's nice in the outside. I wonder how the engine is. Hmm. So the plan with this jet ski is pistol in a cooler. We're gonna put a 1318 prop, do an oil change, and put a shorty water box and possibly he might want to tune he might want to complete the stage one so we'll see he said he'll bring it back um maybe we'll make this ski run about 80. but for now that's all we're doing so let's take a look inside and see if it's as good as it's in the outside might be missing a few pieces <laughs> all right so let's look inside. All right, so yeah, it looks really nice inside. Got a catch can, a filter, the hoses with the blow valve. Now, I can see right there, let me see if I can show it to you guys. The, the carbon ring is all the way to one side. Over here, it's nice and flush. I know it's all the way to this side. So this ski definitely needs to be aligned. We'll see, it should be interesting. But other than that, it looks really nice. Let's go ahead and start working on this. We took the supercharger off and it's really good. It's in really good shape. It's really nice. And then we took the carbon seal and the shaft out and look at this. Wow. And as you can see, this is the carbon seal getting wear. It just you can see the mark right there on the hole and right there. Crazy. So this is a result. Well, anyway, we're getting rid of the carbon seal and we took out the pump. The prop is good, the wearing is good. Now here's another little tip. So you guys don't make this mistake. This plug goes on the tip of the dry shaft. This one, this is a little O-ring that it has, but it's not like this. It's part of this plug, so the plug doesn't come out. Obviously, this one came off, as you can see, and then when you put it back on, it won't stay. See how it slides off? And when you put in your dry shaft in the motor, it might come off and it might stay sideways like this, and that is a problem. So if you, it's, it's so cheap that most of the time, I just put a new one. I don't deal with this. Because I got one here. See, this is one, and this one's broken too from another job. So these two are trash. See, they won't stay on. See what I mean? So that is trash, my friend. And get a new, a new one, and that will save you headaches down the line. So you don't waste your money and your time. All right, so the owner told me, if you see anything wrong, just fix it. Hmm. Here we go. You see that? That's the carbon seal. It goes all the way over here. It's stained. So as soon as I took off, I already took it, took everything off. Look at this. This carbon seal was definitely leaking water. That's one thing we have to replace. I might as well do the upgrade and replace everything with the new one. We're just gonna replace all that. And as far as that, everything else looks really, really nice. This motor is 
amazing everything inside so we just going to continue and uh i don't see anything else wrong so we're just gonna put it back together so here we go all right so as far as the carbon seal goes when you buy a new carbon seal kit you have to look at it from the back this way that way and see the distance where the two oil rings are and where the c clip is some of these c clips are a little bit more inside or a little bit more outside and that will make a difference on how tight it is if the sick clip came if you put the wrong one it can come off and then you sink you don't want to sink <laughs> doing the same you know i look at this one and it's a lot bigger but not really it's bigger here but it's the same distance that the sick clip will be right all the way in the inside all the way in there and as far as this one goes it's the same distance it's right there right next to the oil ring the oil ring goes in that group right there and these are the two oil rings which is something else i want to talk to you guys about this client decided to change the dry shaft because as you can see this is the brand new dry shaft and these two oil rings one goes right here right the edge where the c clip goes and one goes on the other end if you look at his dry shaft it's already pitted it's completely pitted all of this so you know this oil ring is not sealing anything here because it's completely pitted all the way around and it's now there's water getting in here and mm, I don't know how long but very short time this is going to get pitted too because there's salt water going in here so i told him well might as well change the dry shaft so he agreed with me and it's just more maintenance free especially in a machine as nice as this you don't want salt water leaking through these two oil rings and then spitting salt water all the way around and your whole engine gets messed up so just little tips so you guys don't waste your money we got the carbon seal this is the new upgrade carbon seal you see this one sits like this and if if there's a little bit of water that goes through here it would just shoot it up on this one it stays in here see how this one is the carbon seal stays in there so a little bit of water goes in there and it comes out to this little hole and they have this stainless steel insert to make it tougher so it doesn't vibrate and whatever it is this is an upgrade so from that so that is what we put it on another thing we're doing we are put installing a brand new plug on the dry shaft just a, i like to do that so sometimes they they do they do get a little bit of damage they won't stay on and you want this little plug to stay in there so that's another thing that we got and we are ready to install the dry shaft all right we got the carbon seal in and we got the fizzle in a cooler in there already we got one hose installed all we gotta do is put the other hose in here and we are ready to go gotta put the exhaust pretty much ready to go ready to cut out the oil i'm gonna put new oil in change your filter and the spot plugs all right so we are pretty much finished with everything put everything back got the 1318 in it all i gotta do is put the oil in got the spot plugs in already changed the new filter old filter it's nice there's no metal in the filter the motor's really really good put the oil in let's crank it up and see how it sounds hmm that should be interesting let's see what it sounds like with just the shorty muffler because you still have the resonator in there got everything in there and it's at the stack location so that should be interesting <laughs> It's still quiet. 
that resonator really makes a big difference I mean to me it's quiet it's way too quiet way too quiet so I don't know I guess we have to see when put it in the water and see if he likes it he might just come back for a true holy sauce we'll see all right guys so it's ready to go put everything back on it hopefully he'll be happy and we won't see him back but i got a feeling this guy's gonna come back for more all right guys so we are here at the lake and we're gonna test the jet ski i'm here with steve and his lovely daughter who does her jet ski <laughs> it's not your jet ski anymore nope. took over <laughs> hey that's what happened so we're gonna go test it and see what i'm just looking for um any leaks or anything you know they are from miami they came all the way to west palm beach that's like an hour and a half drive so i want to make sure that everything is good and the jet ski's basically stuck right steve pretty much stuck and um, just the, yes. uh, the scum the scum so i'm really curious to see because we did put a 1318 and we put the the short water box let's see if we can increase the speed you said you went 73 on it 69 was my top oh my god 73 he went 73 <laughs> all right so let's see how fast we can go now i'm gonna go without the seat so because i just want to see if there's any leaks i have no words <laughs> i don't think this is safe <laughs> oh. wow we just went 77 miles per hour that is crazy now that's without the back so really curious to see how much it's gonna lose after we put the seat back on the platform and everything that should be interesting so yeah 77 wow that's crazy and remember this is the lake where i test there is no current here it's all flat it's all the same that's really interesting let's see if we can get the same speed back I just saw it there, 77 miles both ways. There ain't no cheating here. That's really interesting. Let's put all the seat back on and see what happens. 77 miles. 77? Yep. Nice. That's pretty good in my book. 77. <laughs> all right, guys. So now we are back on the ski and we have everything on it. I'm really curious to see how fast we can get this now. Well, that's interesting. He went the same speed, but it did got there a little slower. I guess when you are bone stuck, it doesn't really make a difference. Once you start putting big supercharger and stuff, that's when it makes a difference. That's really good. It went same speed, 77. With the seat on? Yeah. And also, you know, you got, you got three bars left and the trim is in the middle. I didn't even play with the trim. Go. All right, are you ready? Go. You ready? Yes, sir. Oh boy! <laughs> you better hang on!
impressive. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. <laughs> so, I knew they are going to be back. So we're going to see Dasky for more, uh, for more performance parts. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, learn a few things, and remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Fearless.